everybody and welcome back to my channel and at last you might be saying welcome to another die cast restoration video so I'm sorry about the big gap um, as you know we had plenty on and um, I had a little well quite a big gap in between um, my last lot of restorations and this new lot that I'm doing so this one's the first of the the new batch um, I finished it a little while now but it's just taken me a while to get all the clips together and um, anyway here we are so I hope everybody's keeping well and um, well since the last video anyway and um, I hope you're all looking forward to this one and you're all rearing to go okay so um, this time it's a model that was donated to me by Dave, Mr. David Yates again and um, it's a very nice model uh, needed a bit of work doing now what I've done I've changed the color basically it's um, you know a paint paint job a few bits straightened here and there and uh, a, a couple well one piece one one piece, the driver is a repro driver so um, yeah that's it really um, I'm quite pleased well I'm very pleased with the way it turned out because I really like this one and um, it's gonna go in my cabinet for sure and uh, yeah so I hope you're gonna like this one too I know some of you've already seen it because I did put a photo on on Facebook on one of the groups um, so you know some of you already seen it but anyway this is this is what I did and how I did it you know you know the script so I do hope you enjoy this video so there's only really well there's two things for me to say what it is because I haven't told you yet so this one is a dinky toys uh, field marshal tractor and it was number 301 or is number 301 I'm um, in the dinky range um, so yeah this is it so as I always say please sit back relax enjoy watching the video see how I got on with this one Right, okay, let's take a closer look at this one. As I said at the beginning, um, this one was very kindly donated to me by Mr. David Yates. He's donated quite a lot of models to my channel. Um, this is a lovely little model Field Marshal, Dinky Toys. And I've always liked these when I used to go to the Dorset Steam Fair. You know, these ones, they really... Well, when I used to see them and hear them with the old single cylinder, pum 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 pum, I really, really wanted to get a real one. Um, but, you know, it seems a lot of people like them. They do go a lot of money. Um, and at the time, it was sort of, you know, nine, ten thousand pounds for one of these. And that was obviously completely out of my price range. Um, so I just had to be contented with the old grey Fergies and my 35s and a couple of other different ones that I had but anyway this is the orange version 
but I think I might do this um, in the green you know green with the silver all these lines in silver um, and silver wheels so I think that's what I'm going to do with that one the old driver is running around like a headless chicken and he's not a chicken um, so I might either I'll make a head for him or I'll get a reproduction um, man for it reproduction driver I did have quite a few I bought a batch of these drivers but I've used them all up um, but anyway this one's been over painted the orange has been over painted um, and we, uh, you can see down here it looks fairly straight from the front but the axle is a bit twisted so we're going to have to straighten all that out so the you know the, you can turn it properly these little holes each side on this plate there's like two little tabs on, on the base like two little domes and they're supposed to sort of go in those holes to keep the steering straight but not not odd enough that you can't turn it so there's one in the front and one one in towards the back so wheels I'm not sure how I'm going to get these off um, it's not a lot well it'll be file it'll be the file with that one I think there's not a lot of uh, axle poking out so you have to be really careful with that front one there's plenty will it be that one yeah it'll be that one look there's loads on the front so that'll be all right the old exhaust a bit loose I might take that out actually because that just goes through so I'll just file that bit that bottom of it and it should should slide through and come out and then what we'll do we just glue it in when we put it back together okay so we'll get the tools and we'll get started on this one um, there's a rivet there and that's a, one of those nipple domed rivets again we'll have to file that and then this one here is one that holds the steering in place so I'm not sure if I'll be able to put like a pop rivet through there because um, obviously that takes quite a bit of strain that one <coughs> excuse me so yeah we'll have to we'll have to see what we can do there anyway we'll get the drill in and we'll drill those rivets out okay then let's um, make a start at dismantling this I've used the uh, punch here. I've used this punch to, to try and punch a little dimple in the in the rivet. front part of this uh, I've not done one of these before blunt side nothing new there
Okay. There you go. Put the washer off, so the top of the rivet's off. Enough to get the washer off. And there, that's the steering off. So now we can straighten that. Um, we'll have to get those wheels off, possibly, or will we? Maybe not. Maybe. Anyway, it's not going to be much to get them off. It's a very small amount to, to file off to get the wheels off. Right. Now, drill a bit more at the back. That might be enough. That might well be enough, yeah. There you go. So that's the base. It's all pretty straight, the base. Now we've got a big spring in here. So that's going to be alright. We'll, we'll be able to drill that down and put a good rivet in that. That steering wheel's quite long. That's just well, the the back wheels would do next because they're falling out, so they just lift out. So that's that's simple enough. The hook comes off. Okay. Now, do I need to file the rivet down, the rivet post? Yeah, possibly. Mm, maybe very slightly, but we're going to need a damn big rivet head for that. So I might end up having to put a washer on that. That's quite a big hole in the base. Okay. Right, we got the steering in here, so what I'll do is try and straighten it because it's obviously bent over on purpose so that it doesn't come out. Mm. <laughs> We've got the old driver in there, we need to get him off. So there's a rivet. Oh, try and Can't see what I'm doing, that's the trouble. Oop, a daisy. No, this isn't going to be easy. Oh, okay, we got it. It's starting to bite. Come on. Not the easiest. I've gone off centre now with a bloody drill.
Yep, and I. No, it's very difficult. Very, very difficult to get in there. I don't know if I can punch him out. Because I've gone off centre now, I've kind of buggered it up a bit. Might be able to waggle him. Hmm. Not really. I am going to get a reproduction driver. The eye's out. Right, so let's see if we can get the steering wheel out. Come on. It's coming slowly. There you go. Oh, blimey. She's well bent, eh? Right. I might straighten that a bit. It's very, very soft. Very soft metal. I don't know if that's meant to be bent or I've bent it like that. We'll, we'll, we'll probably put her straight and then if we've got to bend it once she's on, we'll bend it. I think that's probably the best bet. Normally they're quite hard to bend, but this is this is very very soft. This one, very soft. Right, that's that. Anyway, uh, now same with the exhaust. Do I take the exhaust off, or do I just hand paint her? Right. Okay. So my camera battery's gone flat, um, but I've drilled that out. Um, three millimeter hole, so I've got a, a long three millimeter rivet in here. You can see, which should hold the steering nicely. Um, I've taken the front wheel off, ground the axle on the thin end. So that's already. I've got the exhaust off. Yeah, I've got the exhaust off in the end, and. Um, I've straightened this steering piece out. You can see, I don't know if you can see, it's nice and straight now. So, okay, that's it then. Um, back wheels don't need to come off the axle because obviously they just sit in there like, like that. Um, so, all this is going in the caustic soda. Okay, so that's all. Cleaned up, wire brushed, ready for putting the primer on. Done the base and the uh, steering part. I've done one front wheel. I haven't done um, the other one yet. I'll clean that off, so I've still got to clean the rest of the back ones I've started. And then my drill went flat, so I'll put it to one side and I've forgotten about it. Um, done the exhaust. Clean that up. So... Yeah, we're going to go out and put the primer on that and put on this exhaust as well. And then we'll come back to you when that's done. Okay, that's the primer on. Um, 
come out all right as I say before the primer always usually does so I've done the base plate and the steering parts so I'm going to go out um, I'll spray these pieces black and then I'll spray this green uh, I think I will use this green it's not far off there's the uh, Field Marshal Green so there's HG HD GR which is for green 03 so this is the um, Holt Soto spray that's what I use cheapest one I can buy in Jersey now I used to use a Motip but that's gone up really expensive so I stick to these on the whole they're pretty good paints ok so I'm going to go out and do that and uh, see how it goes ok I've just been scraping all the silver or like aluminium trim I suppose on this field marshal um, hasn't come out too bad I don't think I should have done this one down here I think that is actually a pipe for the um, filters so I think I've done a boo boo with that but um, there's still a little bit here and there I need to scrape all according to which angle you look at it you see bits you've missed so it's not easy and it's not one of my strong points is doing this um, especially with this much on a model I'm not like Martin, Martin Dare, he's the uh, master of the scraping Anyway, it's not done too too bad, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, a bit more. I did actually use a rounded blade to go, and I did did as Martin has shown us. Um, so it, I'm just using the straight blade just for little bits that I might have missed. Okay, so that's where we're up to with this one. Still waiting for the parts from model supplies, so when they come, well the man, the driver, um, when he comes we'll be almost ready to put him back together. Okay. Right, so I've painted these wheels silver. I did toy with the idea of just polishing them up and then painting the tyres black. Or the you know the metal tyres as they are in this case. Um then I thought, no, because the real film marshals do have the wheels painted silver. So the natural metal look didn't, or wouldn't go. It, it wouldn't go with the model if, if, <laughs> if it was a real one like. So I painted them silver, and I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to brush paint this on. But the model there, the black, Negro black, uh, Vallejo paint. And um, that will dry matte. And I have got some, I think it's silk, um, lacquer, which I'm going to put on with a brush as well. Um, so the tyres won't be shiny, shiny. They'll be like new tyres, hopefully. Hopefully, that's the plan. So when I do um, lacquer them, I'll brush lacquer that with the silk on the outside and the wheels on the inside. I'll, I'll, obviously, I'll wait for that to lacquer to dry there and then I'll I'll put the gloss lacquer in the middle that's the plan whether it works or not is another matter we shall see okay I'm going to do that off camera because um, it's going to be a bit fiddly and I need to look close with my magnifying specs I've got here because I can't see a blasted thing otherwise and um, yeah we'll see how it goes so I'll do one and then I'll I'll show I'll bring it back to you and I'll show you what it you know whether it's worked or not. 
I've got the front wheels done as well. Um, the, so we shall see. Okay, I'll see you in a few seconds. I'm going round. Um, I haven't got a very big brush. Uh, it will need another coat. There's no question. Maybe I didn't quite shake my pot of paint enough. Um, but I think possibly because I've painted that silver, because I've painted the silver on the uh, wheel first, that the Vallejo paint it doesn't cover very well the first time. It, and you can see the silver through it. Uh, nearly there. Nearly there with the first coat. We're getting there, we're getting there slowly. Right, okay, my plan didn't entirely work out because I did, like I said, the centers with the gloss. Um, lacquer <laughs> and I used the silk one for the tyres but they've come up just as shiny as the gloss which is a bit unfortunate because I didn't really want them shiny but anyway that's what's happened I did think to paint over that again the black but at the same time there's paint it really needs a bit of protection on it afterwards um, you know because you could scrape it off probably with your fingernail and this is lacquered uh, so um, I think I'll leave it as it is and then for future I'll just have to try and get some matte um, matte lacquer rather than the satin lacquer but it's still going to look quite nice just that for real tyres that's way too shiny ok so I'm going to see about putting the uh, wheels back on the axles and um, we'll see what we do next. So, okay, so I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to peen this over. Um, it doesn't need to be through anything, so I can peen this over as it is there. Um, the back wheels they just they just um, slot in and the base holds them on the front wheels is a different story so what I've done just to stop the wheels getting damaged I have put this foam um, from an old phone case that's foam they put in you know when you get buy a new phone case that's in it to keep the shape um, which is handy for these models. It's a, a piece of old foam that came with something. I don't know what I found it somewhere. And so I've put that between the wheels. I've just cut a, a nick in it. And then I'll put this end on the piece of the vise. And then I'll just pin that over with a hammer. You've seen me do it before. Um, Martin's shown us all how to do it as well. Um, you just hit it in that kind of motion, keep going around to try and make a bit of a mushroom on there. Okay. Right, so I've painted up this 
little guy, old Edley, the driver. Um, here's a Repro one. It's one that I, I, one of my very early restorations that before I started making my videos, and I just placed him on the tractor. Um, it wasn't a very good restoration, so I thought, well, I'll, I'll pinch him off of there so I can finish this one because I'm still waiting for the stuff from Model Supplies. Um, it's been a couple of weeks now, but I think it could be Jersey Post that's causing the problems because they no longer have a mail plane. Everything comes by boat and stuff's not getting through very quick anymore. So not a very good situation, but anyway, that's the way things are. So, um, you know, just so I can get on with this restoration, I've taken this one off the tractor. Um, so I've, I've kind of painted him up a little bit different. So that's that done. Um, the wheels are all on. This, on the uh, steering carriage, I suppose you could say. So that's done all right. It's pinned over okay. Um, same with the back ones. That's the one I've pinned over. So it's all right. So really now, and I'm saying so again, <laughs> um, it's really nearly time for putting everything back together. So I'm going to get all the bits together and then uh, we'll start having a go at it. Right, okay, here we go then. Um, let's move this stuff out of the way a bit. I've got to remember in what order to put all this. Right, now, I've got the tractor here, now, I've already started to put the steering wheel in, now, this is a bit of a, a well, a sort of a puzzle uh, to get it back in, because of getting the driver in and the steering wheel is very difficult, so it's got to be slightly bent, yeah, I, I did straighten it all, because it was bent when it came out, but I did straighten it all and then I couldn't get it in with the driver so it's got to be bent to start putting it in and then you've got to sort of straighten it as you go in so we'll put our Ledley in he's a bit of a fiddle so let's get him in there get him in a bit sideways because I don't want to bugger up the paint oh, come on I think I need to put my glasses on because I can't see what I'm doing here. Like I say, he's a bit of a fiddle. Right, okay we got him in but uh, I think I've scratched the steering wheel a little bit in doing so. Um, right. Okay I'm going to have to touch that steering up because I have I have um, chipped it quite a bit. Right, I've touched that up a bit. Right, so um, we need to put the exhaust in. So that pushes into this hole. Boom. So what we're going to need to do now is to put a little bit of glue on the driver underneath right in there and the same on the exhaust so I'll probably use five second fix for that <clears throat> so here we go let's get this see if we can get this flowing I have bought this ultraviolet uh, torch it's supposed to be for nails making your nail varnish go off quicker whether it works or not I don't know on this on this glue but I'm going to give it a go 
and uh, I'll do the exhaust first because that keeps falling out so just put that on and then we'll try to see if this works I hope it makes this glue go off I'll just keep it there for a bit and I'll come back right that seems to be okay now we'll do this one now I can't see where the glue is going and I don't think it's going in the right place. Okay, same, same thing again, so I'll keep this light on and hold it there, and I'll come back to you when it's set. Right, okay, that seems to have set okay. Now, um, what I'm going to do now, I'll turn it over. Um, I'm going to put the hook on, so I'm going to put a little bit of super glue around there. I'll just, well, or I might put a little spot on the actual hook itself just to hold it whilst I'm putting the base on. So, uh, yeah, I'll put it on the tractor. for a few minutes right okay on to the next bit so I think we got to put the back wheels in and then this is awkward now <laughs> We've got to put the spring in next for the steering. Oh god, not like that though. See, this is where it all starts to go tits up. <sighs> okay. Now, um, the base I'll put the base on next so that goes that way now I think I'm doing this right but I'm not 100% sure so 
there's me saying so again. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the back river in first because I think that's what's got to go in next. rivet which isn't going all the way in so that's a disaster I don't know what's going on there because I'm sure no she's not going in so that's not good that's not good so I need to quickly file so more for that. Oh dear. And I thought I was prepared. I thought I'd done it. I thought I'd filed enough off. I filed a bit off. She's in. Okay, so we leave that dry because um, for a little while, because um, it's hard to put pressure on this. Because as you can see, the spring is pushing that piece out. So we need to make sure this is well and truly glued in tight before we push on that one. Okay. Right, I think that's stuck. Okay, so let's have a bash at this. So this is going to be a bit more difficult because the whole thing's got to go in. The whole steering's got to go on and, and be pushed together. So I'm going to have to... Ooh, it's not going to be easy. Right, let's get some glue down the old to start with. And I'm getting a bit of cramp in my hand all the time. much glue on that base plate because it'll glue the blooming uh, thing to it, steering to it and I don't want that. Is that the way it went? I think so, yes. Not that way. That way. Okay, let's get the rivet in. Actually, it might have been easier to get the rivet in in the uh, thing first. A little bit fiddly. Oh, there you go again. 
again and get cramp in my hand again. Oh, jeepers. Oh, I can do without that right now. Now for some reason this blasted rivet's not going all the way down either. So I need to get that back out again. Ah shit. <laughs> this isn't going well, I should have tried it first. I I had cut all these rivets, so I don't know why it's not going down. Okay, well I've managed to sort that out. I had to put a new rivet, I had to re-drill the rivet post out because the, the glue that was sort of semi gone off um, was stopping the rivet going right in. So I've done it again. I'm holding it now. Um, we'll see what happens. I hope it stays. I haven't put nearly so much glue in this time. Um, so I hope I've put enough to hold it. Pain in the arse. Okay, I'm going to keep holding this for a bit and then we'll come back when it's glued, hopefully glued. Right, okay, she's done. Um, she rolls alright. We've got the rivet in. Okay. The um, steering turns. It's nice and stiff. So that's, that's cool, that's brilliant. So we got that sorted in the end and it, it has turned out alright. Thank goodness. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And um, you know, if you have, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you very much for watching. Um, my thanks again, big thanks to Mr. David Yates for donating this model to my channel. And uh, I do hope you like what I've done with it. Okay, so we're going to do the same as we normally do. And that's to go and do a few outdoor shots. Um, then we'll put it back on the uh, turntable, magic roundabout as Martin says. And um, yeah, compare what it looks like now with what it looked like before we started. So, thank you very much for watching and um, you know, until next time, stay safe, look after yourselves. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheerio for now. Bye bye. Have a toe.